Welcome back to Two Canadians at Kathy Lee's The Bigger Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Dr. Anton, and with me is the other host, DJ Spencer. Hello. Hello. This is episode 80, and we're doing the preview for the uh, the new season that's popping out um, right away, because when this comes out, it'll just be a couple of days away. Uh, Chronicles Isolation. Yep. And luckily, uh, DJ being the uh, bigger partner he is, he has <laughs> access to the, uh, the preview builds and is able to get us a whole bunch of info that we can show you. And mm-hmm. uh, we'll go through it all, talk about it, and um, yeah, we'll just check out all the new goodness coming with the new season. Um, before we get too far, please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Um, hit that notification bell. All the good stuff. We do yep. appreciate it. Um, and yeah, without further ado, I guess let's start talking about uh, Chronicles Isolation. Yeah. Um, so uh, you, you've had some ex- experience with it so far. Um, we're going to go through everything um, that we have it all sorted out, but the order we're going to go through. Um, but is there any like just quick first impressions you want to you want to ditch out or do you just want to go through it? I'm, I'm not going to lie. This is probably the most exciting update uh, we've had in a while. <laughs> um, just for the amount of change um it's like yeah we we have a new shootout map great uh everyone loves a new map uh new weapon it's like uh it's like you know we get a new weapon every season uh we we get a new knife the viper uh v4 um which you may think eh, whatever uh we have a new consumable smoke grenades uh i honestly didn't think it would be that great uh i honestly think they did a fantastic job implementing it we'll show it off yeah uh, shortly um but it's like the melee rework. Oh my god! Like it is <laughs> actually like once if you get a lobby that's not full of like meta weapons and stuff like that, like or just like you know a, a smattering of it, just like one or two type thing, it is it's so much fun um, doing the melee. It is they did <laughs> such a good job on it. Um, nice. When it comes to like the weapon rework, it, uh, this is supposed to be like the base of it. Um, I haven't noticed anything like shooting wise that has changed at this right. point um and uh sh- shout out to uh that guy brian evans who uh we got into a melee fight uh and we were talking about it um he hasn't noticed anything either um but like he's excited for the season um there's some other features too that uh i think is Uh, surprising um i made a a youtube video uh on or a couple of youtube videos on them um that were like unexpected uh changes Uh, but honestly uh the biggest thing and i have yet to see any partners talk about it uh and we're going to talk it later i'm going to talk about it later on um because i think this is going to be uh a very very exciting news um oh wow excellent i can't wait to hear what it is yeah. um yeah let's just uh we're going to be starting mainly with the uh we're going to start with the m14 the new m14 rifle but before we go there i think um i don't know if we had it in here did we have the what's new on our list here somewhere uh or yeah it, it was there it's in That's the right. root folder no 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 i meant on the list of, of what we're talking about oh. don't worry about it <laughs> um, but yeah, um, just a quick show you, as you can see, this is part of the new title screen that's coming. And then this is, you know, when we, uh, when you load in, this is the first new screen you'll, you're going to be seeing. So the, has it what's new in here, but I do really like this, <clears throat> um, this graphic that they put together. It's, uh, yeah. it's really nice. It's really crisp. It, uh, it's a good looking, uh, picture. Yeah. It yeah, shows off, sure. uh, the cosmetics, uh, the smoke grenade, uh, the yeah. new weapon, um, and I believe that you can see the knife too, but um, might be a little hard. I think it's on its his hip. Oh, left. maybe yeah, on the side there, right beside the V or above the V. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then um, we'll, we'll zoom in a bit to the uh, what's new, and this is this is the what's new that's coming out that they're putting. You know, when you first log in, 
chronicles, chronicle, chronicles, if I can speak, isolation, <laughs> um, experience the new map, um, Ikeven, Ikevien. Watch the um, the pronunciation video. Um, they really go over yeah. all the names. And um, I think for the, I, I like to say for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty close with most of the names usually, but I'm, I, I know I make mistakes. So yep. um, it's really good to go, what, listen to that video um, that they put out. Yep. Um, they mentioned the new assault rifle, the M14, um, smoke grenades, uh, edge over your enemies with the new me melee system, uh, with the Viper knife. Um, new thing, destroy bard house barricades with your weapons and explosives. That's new and that's awesome. Um, a rework on the crate system. Um, this is more the interface for, for the crates. So when you access crates. Um, and then there's going to be a new premium pack, Ghost of the North, um, which we don't have a preview on. But um, we'll talk about that a little bit later. And there's other um, stuff too that's not listed there, but I already ooh. know about it. <laughs> um yeah and then uh, so yeah the m14 so it's a new assault rifle it's based on the m21 i believe is that what it is uh yes the m21 yeah yeah the m14 is like the m21 without the scope um so. yeah and we just have the base stuff here um oh, you will uh, i think get to see a little bit of it as we go yeah, yeah you're gonna well, show we'll... us here yeah, yeah, we'll show, um, show the stats and everything uh, for um, first. It's a so it's it's a take six parts to make, um, or if you have your crafting level, um, crafting table at level five, you'll uh, you'll be able to craft it if you have the plan. Twelve thousand five hundred mats. It's a rare, you know, blue rare uh, weapon, and thirty minutes to make. But that's going to yeah, it doesn't really change. Thirty nope. minutes is what it is. It's thirty minutes. Um, yeah, De uh, deconstruction cost. You'll get three thousand uh, material out of it. Um, yeah. If you if you want to go to the damage uh, screen, um, and then we could show that off. I'm trying to. It's not that me. I can um, pull it up, Doc, if you want. <laughs> just just uh, show yeah. my screen, and then. Well, sir, we're going to show his screen. It was working, but now, of course, it's not. Here's his screen quickly. Um, we're going to show the uh, the new assault rifle, the M14. So there, there you go. go. Uh, base damage 43, uh, rate of fire 560, uh, muzzle speed 850, uh, capacity 21. Um, so when you reload it, it's going to be 20, and then you reload it again, you get that extra bullet. Um, <clears throat> the weight 4.1, uh, and it uses the uh, 762 by uh, 51 NATO rounds, uh, which is the same thing as uh, the uh, M21. Yeah. Um, and it does have single fire and full auto, uh, which the uh, M21 does not have full auto. I don't right. think. I don't, I uh, no, it, it no, because it's just a it's a sniper rifle. It just has the the single shot. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. So uh, stats are pretty much the same. The base damage the... is a little lower on the M21. Uh, yeah. Right? Um, but a lot of it is fairly similar. Um, so, anyways, let's go out to the firing range. Shooting range. Um, Here, I'll uh, make it a bit larger for everyone. Oh, fantastic. There we go. All right. So, uh, full auto. So, as you can notice, uh, it is. It sounds very familiar uh, to the M21. Um, on full auto, maybe not as much, but when it comes to single fire, it definitely is very similar to yeah. what it is. Now, um, one thing you guys, I don't know if you guys could actually notice it uh, on the screen, um, but you actually get hit markers now in the shooting range. So oh. anytime I hit anything, like even a plate, uh, the, the bottles, there's white little like, Picks or hash marks that oh, okay. just like when you get a body shot um in the outlands same thing um so it's like you know i don't think that yeah there's no headshot uh like it's not a red headshot on right. the uh things but there are um the uh little marks um okay yeah it's hard to see on hit. here so yeah it may yeah 
so I figured I would let and you know that's a little change that um, is new. Um, it's not listed. I'm trying to think what else uh, we want to talk about the M21. Um, um, but the construction is, is three thousand uh, parts that you yeah, have here. Yeah, I said that earlier. Um, oh, did you? But, okay. Uh, it is honestly for a blue slash rare uh, weapon. Uh, I think is going to be really good because um, like the recoil is actually like really decent. Um, it does get quite a bit of bloom from yeah. when you're firing in full auto, though you can see. But uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, the recoil didn't look too bad at all. So it is fairly easy to control and everything. Like if I just pull the trigger and not really do anything, like it doesn't move a ton. Um, yeah. So it, it is... lifts a bit, but then once it once it, it stabilizes, it stays. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit up and to the right. Um, but uh, I think this is going to be like a really viable uh, weapon, especially for nice. uh, like a blue rarity type thing. Um, yep. Which yeah, it's been a while since we've had like a rare weapon, right? Because last year um we had the m14 and then we had three special issues so we had the tega um the fg42 um the l96 and the l86 i think those are the four from last year i think so so um yeah so it's nice to see a different rarity weapon uh being added um uh, yeah. that actually does seem uh viable yeah so, absolutely okay um, yep so that's the m14 Next yeah okay the next um let's see here smoke grenades yeah smoke grenades um yeah we're gonna talk about smoke grenades so new throwable obviously it's special issue so you'll be able to take up to two out with you uh in a match five parts to make um level eight crafting table required uh, if you have the plan ten thousand materials um and it's a consumable, so 30 minutes, but that can be changed based on the level of your, um, your shelters. Yeah. Um, so, so it's like your utility room, I think, right? Is that, or yeah, no, uh, water or water distillation, water distillation. Okay. Um, and yeah, uh, just for this purpose, I am not, uh, upgrading my water distillation <laughs> on, on the preview build. Cause in that way, I don't have to make any cal calculations. Cause you know, you don't have to calculate it out. We know what it is at base. Ma yeah. <laughs> math is hard. It is. It, it, it. Bigger math is really hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. Um, but yeah, and then we have a few videos we can show you. Um, yeah. So let me, uh, I just want to make sure that I have this. Okay. That's working. Um, let's bring up the first video here. Yeah. So the animation, the throwing mechanic is the same as all the other thermals, uh, and it also looks a lot like you're throwing a radiation grenade. Sure. Give me one second here. Still showing your screen. Uh, which is really awkward. Sorry, everyone. Oh, here it is. There we go. Okay. So here, um, I basically marked, uh, I tossed a grenade, uh, and then I marked roughly the edge of it, just to kind of see what kind of, like, area it covers, um, and it's roughly, like, 20, 25 meters, uh, or so, um, yeah. when you're in the thick of things, uh, like, it is tough, when you're close to someone, you'll actually start to see them, um, because it does seem like um, it looks like it's farther from you than it is. Like it start, it looks like there's a cutoff point that's farther from you. Than it is, than it's it's actually right in it. So it seems like you're yeah. farther from it than you actually are. Yeah. Yeah, and like the the, the more in the middle you are, like the harder it is to see. Um, yeah. Like the teammates, the tags above their heads, clearly visible. So it's like you know where the teammates are, type thing. Um, that's good. But yeah, th this is uh, a nice little example of what. Uh, what yeah, that's the first video. The next one here. Um, so this one uh, basically followed suit uh, right after. Um, so I cracked a uh, radiation grenade. Uh, this is one thing I wanted to note is how visible was the radiation um, within the crowd, and uh, because it was 30 seconds, uh, I wasted too much time. So, anyways, I had to toss my other grenade. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so it, it's nice because, yeah, it's nice that there's a 30 second time limit on the, on the smoke. If it was longer, then yeah, it could be really annoying with 
with the radiation because here you're running in it. So you can't see that there's radiation. At yeah. All. The fact that you're that when you're in the middle of this thing, uh, of, of the smoke, uh, it yeah. is very, very hard. It, like, you can't see. So, like, I could envision someone um, trying to flesh out someone in the house type thing where it's like, you know, throw, uh, throw the smoke bomb because uh, there is a sizzle to it, uh, sound effect, and then mm. throw the radiation and then it's like, people might not notice that it's actually there because it's like, you can see it around the edges, but once you're in the middle, it's like, you just can't see the radiation. The only way you know is like, the picking and the radiation, I, uh, I found it a lot of right yeah. And, um, I don't, I honestly, I don't play a ton of radiation grenades. I feel like it hit a lot harder. Um, hmm. Right like, yeah, okay. And it lasts good to know. But anyways. Yeah. Uh, this next one here is uh, smoking out, or smoking the uh, yeah. uh, the drop. It should be a decent tactic if you want to try to sneak in and grab it. Yeah. Yeah. They can't, they can't see you. It is... I think they did a great job. A fantastic job. Um, like, I don't know if there's plans to, you know, make radiation grenades dissipate over time uh like um what you would call it the smoke grenades or right. you know, maybe like when the radiation grenades came out i was like hey what if instead of radiation grenades like the crazy cloud grenades it's like what if they do something like that who knows um, like different types of smoke yeah yeah but i'm like it is you know there's so many use cases for this um uh, I think it's going to be like an offensive weapon and a defensive, or not weapon, but a consumable uh, for both uh, defense and offense, I think. So, right. Uh, and last, well, not last video. We have two more videos of the smoke grenade here. Uh, well, this was, we've seen this one already. Yeah, that's the radiation one. The other one is uh, the lock container one. So basically, um, I ended up... Yeah, with just talk to you uh, 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 and I do a smoke grenade uh, 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 to the container um, and uh, yeah, I just checked it out. Uh, I went and I was able to unlock uh, all three locks while uh, the smoke grenade was on um, and just as it was done um, I was able to um, get in and get out type thing. So, uh, I think it's super viable, uh, like I said, for so many uh, You know, if, if you're like hard pressed, you're stuck and you know, you need a way to rotate, uh, you can definitely use it. Um, yeah, it is so good. Um, and yeah, this is a, another um, example of the uh, radiation grenade type thing. Is, uh, like, I need to try stuff. I want like, what are different scenarios? Um, so, uh, but th that, that's good enough. We, we can move on to uh, the next thing. Okay. I think, Sounds I think good. our viewers and listeners uh, have a good idea of how it works yeah. now. Um, for sure, uh, for sure. Yeah, it's super fantastic. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but next is the Viper. Uh, so, yeah, the Viper, the new knife. Um, is that what this is? What are we doing now? Oh, this is a melee test. Did we actually have stats yeah. for the knife? Uh, yeah, it, it was there. If not, mm. uh, I could show. Uh, show the yeah, device. maybe just show your show it for us here, because for some reason I don't seem to have the stats. I have the the videos, yeah. so I screwed no, no that worries. up. Okay, uh, here I'm we go. All good show. So uh, okay. the Viper V4. Uh, here it is. Uh, base damage forty, uh, weight of two. Now, um, just to go quickly over all the melee weapons, the John base damage is forty five. Uh, and then every other rarity, it goes down five points. So you have like um, the Viper, which is military, which is going to be 40. Uh, the rare ones, which is the Fall Niven, um, is going to be uh, 35, uh, 30 for the uncommons. Um, and then there's actually no common uh, uh, knives. They're all plentiful. Those ones are all base damage 25. Um, and then I guess I should actually pull up uh, the knife here. Uh, so it takes two parts, or sorry, three parts to craft, uh, or a level nine crafting table, um, 5,000 materials, uh, one hour to craft, and um, I think I have it in the Word doc. What's the... Uh, for deconstruction? deconstruction? Uh, 2,000, uh, or no, sorry. 1,050. 
sorry, thousand fifty. Two thousand yeah. was the smoke grenade. Uh, actually, we totally forgot to like mention all the. Uh, oh, stats. you're right. The smoke. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, well, we did mention the, the how much it, like parts and and all that it would take. Um, but uh, we just didn't mention the deconstruction value of the uh, of the smoke grenade. Yeah, that was two thousand. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, um, so this is what it looks like in your hands. Oh, there you go. Why is it not? Uh, just a sec here. Uh, it's um, it's I I know what's going on here. It all comes down to oh, there it is. I have to do it manually for this. You know, I thought so, and then all of a sudden, it's not showing. Why isn't it showing? Okay, we're going back to the other way. There we go. Um, there we go. Okay, no worries. Okay. okay, so we're back in the shooting range. Um, so I'm holding my trusty uh, Viper uh, V4. Um, now, uh, what came of this? Uh, actually, um, I actually threw out a suggestion that you could actually melee fight Scarecrow's oh. damage does not actually uh, happen. Right, but, right. So that's your typical or your old version, right, of the uh, melee a little quicker but now if you so i'm pulling the trigger so i'll go to my controller so i pull the trigger once you get the hack uh, like the hack if you do it quickly twice you get a slash so it's a forward Ooh. slash and then a like a back type thing so back you actually, yeah, backslash yeah and you could like literally do it non-stop there's no cooldown um i don't think it affects stamina doesn't seem to be so, in there at least yeah it is it is very very good um and when it comes to uh fighting it, oh my god it is so much fun like you don't understand like when people when this goes live i hope there's going to be a ton of people wanting to do melee fights on streams or with their friends or whatever because like this it is super fun um i well, was viable to, it's now it, viable it never was before yeah Pretty much every knife is. Uh, I don't think uh, there's a single knife that is um, a one shot. Because uh, I tried to do a headshot on uh, oh, okay. that guy Brian Evans, um, and it looked like it was the same amount of damage. Um, but like, shout out to that guy Brian Evans who uh, took some time to uh, get in some melee fights and do some testing with me. Um, it was so much fun. Um, <laughs> so yeah, pretty much uh, three hit. For everything now when it comes to um we'll talk about the melee rework too um since we're here so again you have the typical uh like swipe of the weapon but now when you do the second one you nice. butt in the person so that's what the secondary um swing is and uh through testing uh with that guy brian evans uh, it actually looks like the butt end actually does a slightly more damage than the, the initial swing. Interesting. So, uh, okay. yeah, melee with a weapon or um, a knife, super viable now. Uh, I'm looking so much forward to it. And this is part of the reason why uh, I'm excited. Um, and when it comes to the knives, as I, I mentioned, like the base damage is different for all of them. Yeah. And it actually seems like rarity actually kind of does hold true type thing, but it's not like, you know, obviously like five different hit points is not like a big difference, but uh, I'm kind of excited to see what is going to happen with the actual weapons. So, right. um, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, and, the, rework and we, we could yeah. show some clips. Yeah. And the big thing is going to be like, I, I, there have been times like in a shootout, where like I, I have my gun, I run out of bullets, and then I'm like all of a sudden next to, to a, I've had this happen a couple of times where I'm next to somebody and I have to try to melee them, right? Because I have yeah. nothing. And before it's like, there was no chance. Yeah. <laughs> but now there <laughs> seems like there could be a chance. Yeah, and, and that's the thing too, sorry. Um, there, was, there was almost like a blooper. Um, I think that guy, Brian Evans is actually gonna leave it in uh, his video. Um, so I tried to melee with uh, L LMG and uh, instead of, uh, using right stick to melee, I pulled the right trigger, so I actually shot him, and I almost killed him. Because, <laughs> <laughs> nice. obviously, with a knife, it's, you, you know, you can use the trigger, but when you have a weapon, it's the right stick. So, when you have it's a knife, the it's the yeah. same. You could use either one, but, uh, yeah. But anyway. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. But, yeah, we have a couple clips here we can show. 
And that's yeah. what I was trying to do when I was showing your thing there. What so yeah, here's the first okay. one. Yeah, you one hit on you. Okay, good. So uh, these were kind of like the initial this is tests. With the Viper um, knife. So that guy, Brian Evans, is. Um, I think uh, that did a Viper lot of right damage. There. I want to say I'm like almost like a third, a bit more. I believe. Yeah, and, it looks uh, like a bit more. Try. Do you have the John in you? Yeah, it looks like it. Yes, yeah. I do. So it, it did like okay, a heavy amount of damage. Try to hit me with the John. I want to try where I tried to go for the headshot. It's hard to see my crosshair because. You yeah, only about, have the about the thing. You don't have half, the actual pretty much. Like, crosshair. How mm -hmm. much damage does it do when yep. you melee with the um, weapon? So yep. it, it was okay. actually pretty cool. And then this is where we did not the testing much. again for like, yeah, uh, maybe much. 20 hit points. Melee with the weapons. Uh, um, let's see. Again, 15, uh, 20. If you notice, and then the, like the button uh, does it slightly more uh, Okay, it seemed like with the back of the gun it did more damage. Yeah, with the butt. Okay. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, do you want to try uh, it on me? Uh, you, go to the next one here. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then this is the first actual uh, melee oh, fight. I, I could... And look how quick death comes. Yeah. Ah, no! Like, oh, wow. There was a couple of misses. I was like, what? A three hit? Like, three hit. Way this, way oh my god, here. this is going to be so good. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. Okay. And then we are back you in another encounter. This is the best time. DJ I don't know if I kept it in the uh, yeah. test. How much damage getting hit with the butt of an LMG does? <laughs> for science. So you, yes, for science, of course. Only for science. Um, so you can go ahead and, and hit me. Uh, the single or the double? It's like the two of you looking at each other for uh, a long time. Go ahead and do uh, the It's because we were talking about it. It's like, okay, oh, okay. Like, do you want the double tap? And then, like, oh, so I then you shot right him. Up <laughs> and, like, if you look at his health, he's literally, like, 5 HP or something like that. It was like... Yeah. <laughs> that, Listen. That, that definitely wasn't. Anyways, we let him heal up. Listen. Um, it's because with the knives, it's, it's a right uh, trigger to actually attack. Another um, melee fight. <laughs> Um, and again, it's like it's a two to three hit. Uh, for, um, at first, I thought you did it for a kill. Um, the me. LMGs. Didn't I'm, seem I'm to never going to get invited again. I'm more I? damage than like the M20. Uh, sorry, I was going to say the M21. Yeah, for the a M, moment, I thought uh, I thought you were human because that's exactly what human would do. <laughs> so, uh. Uh, did this okay. move back? <laughs> I might have. Yeah, so let's yeah. go to the next I'm one here. Um, <laughs> this is number okay. three. Oh, oh, I did the wrong thing. Okay, do you there we go. My mistake. There we go. And here's the fourth three, one. Two, on um, yeah. one. Anakin. Oh, so, yeah. So this we did uh, through all four smoke grenades, and we did a fight in the smoke. Okay. So as you can see, you can actually see your teammates uh, tag. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Nerf the Puko! That was with the Puko. Like, three swipes with the Puko, he's dead. The Nerf the so Puko. It is legit <laughs> now. It is not a joke. It's not a mean. Nerf imagine, the Puko. Imagine you just running out yeah. and then smoke somebody. Uh, I, I, just, I, I blew up myself <laughs> because uh, I didn't want to leave um, to get to the locked exits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and Great. Then, I thought there was one more, but uh, I could be wrong. But it's okay. Uh, well, we don't that's need, ones we don't... I had, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, nice. And then, uh, yeah, so that's the melee re rework. <clears throat> yep. Now, we got the um, the new uh, shootout map. Unfortunately, we don't have a video of it, but we do have um, some some stills from it. And, yep. and we can show you the shootout map itself. Um, so this is for... I can't... I Kevian. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna. Uh, I remembered. I knew how to say it for a second, but then it's like gone. Yeah. Oh no, what's going on here? Oh, there it is. Okay. Things are acting a little weird there for me for a second. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, this is the new shoot. Um. The shootout map for the area. Um. Yeah. So you don't know, I guess, how big the when we eventually get the map, how big it's going to be around. But yeah, you can figure it's going to be fairly sizable. Yeah. You, you could kind of see from the overhead map like that there's quite a bit of buildings not included. Um, you could kind of see that the, the actual hay bale um, is kind of like in the center. Um, and, you know, we'll see in the next screenshot that where the entrance of that is. Uh, but it's very neat because it's like basically like a town with like some farm fields and stuff. 
uh it is like uh, a very good shootout map. It's it's going to be pretty big. Uh, I want to say it's almost going to be as big as Myron or in similar size. Um, so it's it's going to be a hefty lobby. Um, there's different elevations, obviously, because you could get on top of the hay bale maze. Um, there's like trenches or um, like ditches and stuff like that. Um, there's some little like sewer tunnels that you could kind of go under. Uh, they're not very long um there's different buildings and stuff like that you can't go in uh but you, you can see like when it comes to when it's going to be an encounter map it, it is there's going to be a lot of uh buildings that you can go in um and hopefully get some decent loot out of um and like i think some of the buildings too are kind of new or they're like modifications of existing ones um so it's nice to see uh but i'm, nice. I'm very excited yeah uh, i'm a little disappointed that uh I was kind of like uh, not very smart because I was thinking I was taking uh, clips and I was taking screenshots on my Xbox. Uh, it's okay. It happens. Yeah. yeah. Um, we might be having a trouble with the going next. And so this is where I find out that um, the audio cut out when I went to this view. Um, there's one other uh, spot coming up where this happens as well. But we're just talking about um, some screenshots from the uh, the new map that's being used for sh um, shootout. Uh, this is part. This scene here is from within a hay bale maze that's within that area. So that's uh, pretty cool. Um, some of there's some shots, and I guess both times that uh, DJ went into this map, it was uh, a foggy. It was. Uh, had this mist around it so we're not sure if it's always like that but um at least for the uh time, times that he was in and he got clips and pictures for us it was um this is a a house that's just on the edge of the map and i, I might be one i'm not sure if it's a starting area or not but uh, you can't actually go to that house um you're blocked from going there it's just on the outskirts so you can't see it it'll probably be available once the uh, full map's out uh, this is within the maze again, and it has boards going across some of the hay bales so that you can, you know, go across them. Uh, so it has some of that um, strewed, uh, strewn about um, the uh, the area. And there's um, weapon crates from within uh, the maze as well. So it's, you know, like usual with shootout, there's weapon crates all over. Uh, this is like sort of a sewer area or like a, a, a water flow area that you can go through, you know, the type of tunnels you see. On other maps uh, that you can crawl through so those exist here as well um, so uh, so lots of areas where you can hide and and sneak around in here for for a shootout um, this is on uh, one of the uh, houses that looks like it um, could be almost it looks like a barred house the way they have it boarded up but it's just another uh, building that right now you can't go into um, during shootout it's just uh, so it's just all boarded up um, in the style of the uh, the new one, this is the entrance to the uh, the bay, um, the hay bale uh, maze. So we go in, and, and you can see a little cutout section just through the entrance where there's a crate just sitting right there that you can uh, that you, you can loot. So that's pretty cool too. Um, yeah. So that's about at this point. That's all we're really talking about is just some of it. Unfortunately, a, a DJ was taking. A, picks um, instead of uh, clips at the time uh, and this is just another area um, you can see some barbed wire going across the fence there and um, I, I, I mentioned how it looked uh, quite a bit like a Victorson um, spot you know when you're in, near the train yards uh, in this little particular spot so that's kind of cool too um, yeah so this just some clips or some uh, snapshots from the uh, the new shootout map uh, that's coming and then most likely the season after we'll see it as a full map perfect nice yeah i don't know why the uh my hot keys aren't working for the slideshow now but that's okay be able to see it um okay so that was uh so some clips from the new map there we go uh next uh we were going to talk about uh the bard house the yep, new stuff bard house. the bard house yeah Perfect. Um, yeah, this looks really good. We've got some clips of, of what it is, but yeah, now everything's shootable. <laughs> yeah, you, you can barricade, um, grenades, 
contact on one hit. Uh, improvised mines, uh, this game is like a third of the door type thing. Um, I actually, uh, I placed like up to three of them. Um, and uh, there was one, I didn't get a clip, but the three of them actually did delete all, or remove all of them. The only thing is all about the placement. Yeah. So it's placement uh, because it is like right in proximity to the uh, barricades, um, distance, uh, or proximity and distance, same thing. Uh, you know, lo like right here, this clip, right? I couldn't get it on the top step. So it didn't um, get rid of it all. Um, or but it did. It's, it's kind of cool that it does like a bottom piece, right? Yeah. And then that you can actually. Um, like crawl in type thing. I love that. Yeah, I that's love awesome. Because that. at, at one point, right, when you were manually unlocking Bart House, you get to like a certain point and then kind of like jump and crawl through over. Yeah. Thing. Um, but th this is so much better. Uh, and it, it's honestly, if you have the silenced weapon, um, the improvised mine won't make that much sound um, from far away type thing. So it, it's like, uh, it could be kind of like a stealthy way to get in type thing or stealthy-ish. Mm. Um, Stealthier then, for sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and you can see the trouble you were having trying to place the extra Yeah, on this one. You, yeah. Yep. Um, and it does, did you do any testing with trying to open Bard House the traditional way? Because the way the boards are, it almost looks like they've changed it. I'm curious if it's a, still the same number of uses, you know? I believe it's the same thing. What I really like about it is, so when it comes to weapons, it's, it's all based on damage. So like, a weapon that's going to do higher damage is going to get rid of the boards quicker. But right. you can actually target specific parts of the barricades. So if you want to like, you know, remove like one of the slat pieces or like a two by four that's going across, you shoot that and it's going to destroy that. If you want to destroy one of the bigger boards, you can do that. It's going to take a couple extra hits, but it, you can still do that. I love that. So you it's can target like, the bottom like you did with the line with a silenced weapon. Yes. So you can crawl in. And someone may not know that it's open from a distance, right? Exactly. And yeah. um, there's like... <laughs> that still plate will take extra damage. Extra okay. Type thing. Um, and then... Here it is with the L96 you're talking about. Yeah. You see how I'm aiming for, like, the, the slats? You know, and see, I hit the slats, like, you know, it, whatever you hit, it will... Yeah, nice. And you also did it with the sharp shoots and the Yeah, just to show the damage. So this yeah. one here, the damage on the sharp shoots and the A couple extra hits. Uh, this one here, though, the, the board is a lot bigger. Uh, the damage is higher, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. Hard to remove it, but... Right. So. Nice, though. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Yeah, so that that's really... Uh, it's a nice change, a nice uh, update. I really like that one. It, it, was, it was very unexpected. I did not expect this. Um, and then, <clears throat> also, um, mortars and radiation bombs do not... Uh, affect the, the barricades so um okay okay i only tried it uh, the mortars a couple times but we all know how it's like the mortar strikes are kind of like iffy type thing when it comes to like damage so i don't know if that's one of the reasons or if it's just not intended to actually uh do anything right right yeah okay um okay and next is uh the crate rewards how they've changed those up um so let's see how this is going to work, if this will work at all. I may have to go to where we're not showing our pictures again. But um, yeah, this is the... So now when you're um, looking at crates, uh, it gives you a write-up on both, you know, what you can find in that particular crate. But we no longer have the little menu of what's potentially in that crate. Yeah. That's, and that's a huge change. Yeah. Yeah. It's not necessarily a bad change. Um, you know, it's always kind of nice to know what you had coming up, but it's also nice having a totally random, you know, um, uh, not knowing uh, what's coming next. Um, so, yeah, this one here uh, is the uh, weapon crate. Um, Sorry, I'm, I'm opening up a crate. I don't know if that's the audio you're 
or if you heard that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I did. I heard that. It's okay. okay. They didn't hear that, but I heard it. It's okay. <laughs> um, 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 and, and one yeah. thing to note. Uh, so this is the second uh, place where I mentioned before that we lost audio. But anyways, here we're just going through all the different uh, crates, show, um, talking about uh, what happened, you know, what the types of crates they are, what you get. Um, but yeah, it, it's just more um, chatting about. We just speculate on if there's potentially any changes to um, experience that you get out of crates. But from what we can see, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, every, uh, DJ even opened a, uh, a crate um, as we were speaking, and it. Um, it was still the same price, um, same experience that you would get normally. So, yeah, not not much more to say. You know, the crates, uh, you don't get a preview of what's potentially in the crate anymore. Um, you get a little description of what can be in a crate. Just, you know, that kind of thing. So that that's the uh, the crate we work. Um, next. I, uh, as far as in, we know. <laughs> well, yeah, as far as we know, what we, yeah. we, what we can say, yeah. Yeah. Um, when you yeah, when you were opening the crate there, did you? I guess did did you see how much XP it gave you? Uh, it was the same thing. I opened a okay. a rare, and it was still five hundred. So yeah, yeah. So it sounds like it's both party all the same. Um, yeah. As we mentioned, uh, there is a new premium pack. There's nothing to show you for that. Um, what was it called again? Uh, the ghost of something. Uh, ghost of the north. I just brought up the yep, uh, what's new. There you go. So Ghost of the North has arrived. So um, this, with this, what they've shown so far, you know, being like a wintry kind of military style season, you can you can only you can kind of guess what or think of what it's going to be. It's probably going to be like a, a camo. Sounds like it's going to be like a camo outfit or a white outfit of some type. Yeah. Um. So could be interesting. Yeah. Yep. Um. Next up is Anakin. So they did make, made a little bit of changes to Anakin. Uh, there we go. There's the uh, the Anakin map. Um, looks the same as the old map, except all the exits are locked. Yeah. Like, uh, wow, <laughs> that's so, a huge. So what they did too is they actually did physical changes to the exits as well. Um, oh, actually, sorry, I'm I'm just gonna pitch my YouTube video because I made a YouTube video on this. Uh, but go check it out. Um, so anyways, every exit link down below, uh, we'll have the link below. Yeah, we will have the link down below. The same thing with the Bard House <laughs> one. Um, yeah. oh, and look at that YouTube, uh, name on, under my name right now, uh, or <laughs> under my video. Um, yeah. but yeah, so every exit has now changed, whereas they each have a boat now, uh, at their locations. So it's a similar to battery where, uh, the exit that has the wire it's a sailboat okay so you need the wire to you know get the double started or whatnot uh the electronics it's like a busted up uh speedboat i guess um and then so you know that one's the north east i believe I, well we can show I'll them all it. here anyways yeah so uh and then the ones for fuel it's like a regular boat that's just ready to go just needs fuel. so yeah this is the one i was talking about and this is the one where like it is so far you have to go far, to... yeah. Yeah. Before you like, you just have to run a bit into those rocks, and they'll start getting you out. Now, yeah. so you have to run down those rocks. And, those and what's, in, what's interesting? Uh, so yeah, as they added boats to all of these locations, They're, they weren't in Anakin uh, previously. The one exit at the south. So this is uh, northeast exit. Northeast. Uh, yep. The next one. So south. Uh, this one. What's interesting about this one is the exit still starts at the same spot like you'll see how like like, like where it tells you that close. and that's the old location but you have to go all the way to the other end uh, to get to it yeah yeah to activate the <laughs> and i tried to get in i cut off the clip but i actually tried to get out of the exit <laughs> make it out. But it, <laughs> they like unlock it yeah. but it's like because yeah. it's so long because it still starts in that one spot yeah. So here's the sailboat, nice. northwest yeah. exit. Um, yeah. Again, you just need uh, the wire. Um, and it's like, wire, there's a ton on Anakin. Uh, fuel, uh, I find, I found that they added a couple of, like, low spots. Uh, because in the south, there isn't as much fuel, typically. That's true. Um, yeah. But I did find some on the uh, 
southern, the south of the warehouse type thing along the, the shoreline type thing. Um, so it's like, okay, that's good because you know, uh, they can find their fire Because fuel. before, yeah, before fuel, typically you would find fuel, um, like in the center town, there was a usually fuel. Yeah. Lying around there, um, even that little um, side village um, by that long exit, the rock exit, would have uh, some kind of yeah, but, but yeah. it, it's like, uh, like by the warehouse, there's like a ton of tools before, and like they behind it right now. Uh, there's some by like if you follow that road all the way to the northeast exit. Um, so they've definitely, I think they've definitely considered that and added some. Will it be enough? Right. I don't know. I think you're going to definitely have to plan. Uh, or have a plan of like, okay, which exit am I most likely to go? Or like, hey, I'm just going to try to kill someone and hopefully they have whatever resource I, I need. So right. um, it, it, it's kind of yeah. mixed feelings. Um, I saw some negative feedback on Reddit um, about how it's going to negatively affect raincoats and whatnot. Um, I'm, I'm curious how it's going to play out. Um, I could certainly understand. Um but what if every map is not meant for everyone type thing where it's like yeah. maybe Anakin's not a beginner map. Like honestly, like Phil Canton is not a beginner map because all the sweats go there. Yeah. Right. For all the sniping. Yeah. Anakin, absolutely. Same thing. So you gotta learn these things. That is that's part of learning the game, right? What maps yeah. are safe and what aren't, right? Um, there are some maps like the really big ones are typically a little bit safer because there's a better chance of not running into somebody. You have more more options for keeping away from people, yeah. but any of the smaller maps, like this is, a, I would consider this a small map. The 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 um the batteries are small maps. Uh, uh, batteries pretty sweaty, I find. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. They yeah. they tend to be oh. pretty sweaty maps. That's that's kind of the Honestly, thing, right? I, I think Grondheim's the 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 friendliest map for beginners. Yeah, Grondheim, it's because it, it, that's a that's an th interesting one, right? Because it's you, terrible you, you got the. Too. Oh, it's yeah. It, it depends where you are for sure. But then it, it's it's also terrible to get out. Um, yeah. It's either you got to take the jump or you got to run to one of those one exit like all the way up or all the way down, right? There, there is no <laughs> jump exit. It is oh, <laughs> there's, only four there's a jump no, exit. No, no. <laughs> you just need some adrenaline and you're good. <laughs> and if you as lucky as long as you don't bounce off the wall as you're jumping yeah. which happened to me once and i went ah yeah, it, it's not new player friendly so it's a four player map uh, four exit map for me <laughs> yeah 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 exactly <laughs> um anyways that uh but there was anakin now we're going to show you the battle pass i wonder how i may have to do this uh let's see here um so there's that but i don't think i can show it bigger than this okay um so here's the new battle pass again um isolation uh, so yeah, it's definitely a military style theme, and this is, I would say, a full on actual military theme as opposed to yeah. that last one, which was sort of a paramilitary. Yeah, look. And, and, yeah, and it's like a winter, camo, yeah. winter military type theme. So um, I think it's, you know, there are some variants that are somewhat like this um, for different yeah. skins, but uh, this is like a full set. Uh, type thing because you actually have like matching hats and everything um and i don't mind winter camo as much as other camos so until you yeah. until you play a winter map uh, it doesn't matter <laughs> for the most part you can't okay. you can't tell what someone's wearing up you know for yeah. until you're like fairly close to them anyways so yeah uh so i uh, i don't know how do you want to do this um yeah just this... just just show it yeah okay. just go it so uh arctic assault uh ice coast uh, we have the outdoor rucksack, uh, which I believe is uh, an existing bag, but is different variant. Uh, the snow camo, uh, frost guard goggles. Those oh. are kind of cool. Yeah, they're kind of neat. Like just in general, like, a, like, yeah, yeah, white lenses or whatever, right? Yeah. Well, it's Something like tape or something. I don't know. Um, it's already yeah okay. We have deep freeze, uh, which is uh, one of the cosmetics for the season. So the Gavara 3. Cosmics. Okay, yeah. nice. Uh, we have the Boonie Hat Tundra. Um, it's kind of funny, that kind of hat for the Tundra. Like, that is not a winter hat. <laughs> that's like a, a desert hat. So, like, yeah. that's not going to keep you warm. <laughs> yeah. What is that? <laughs> when it's a yeah. mild winter. 20% um, yeah. XP. Oh, uh, I did calculations. Uh, I have a spreadsheet. I'm going to put it in the description below. 
Uh, so you get 135 XP booster, 700 crowns as before, uh, and you're looking at like 4.7 million XP or something like that to finish the battle pass. Holy cow! <laughs> oh yeah, it, it is. It, I think it's pretty much on par for like the, the other seasons, but it's like when you I, we, I don't think we've ever said it out loud before. That's a lot of XP. No, yeah. I, I'll, I'll pull it up after uh, when whenever uh, the, another topic comes up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I do have a spreadsheet uh, with all the levels and everything. So, uh, and then um, yeah, uh, the wind mass white uh, kind of makes sense for like a winter theme. Uh, we have the impact helmet, pure black. That, uh, that looks this, new. Yeah, this this yeah. looks cool. I like the edges. That's right? It's not it's not like a like a rounded one. It's like almost like a rolled edge. Yeah, uh, on it. Almost. almost. Kind of looks like I don't want to say stormtrooper, but I was um, gonna say the same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, lumbar pack snowfall camo. Uh, it's nice because there's a little like thermos holder type thing, which you definitely need. Your soup. You need I some love soup. this. It is oh, a snow nice scrim. Snow scrim yeah. for the VSS. Oh my god, I love this. I like we talked about it. The scrim wraps. Uh, I love. Uh, yep. I'm pretty sure Doc is a fan. Um, yeah, I, I do like s the scrims for sure. So I, I'm very excited for this. I like this. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, do I spoil it? So every every uh, title actually has different weapons. Oh, nice. Uh, from the inventory. So yeah. I, I don't know if these are like the Puko and whatever type thing. Looks like uh, it might be, yeah. But uh, all the other ones, I believe, have different weapons. They're not matching ones. Um, yeah. So it is very cool. Uh, so isolation one, uh, chili, uh, twenty-five crowns, uh, five XP. Um, next we have the fleece cap, Meyer gray, uh, which I think we have one or it looks we have. I think we have something similar. I don't know if it's yeah. exactly the same. Yeah, it's um, nice. We have the first strap gloves, Arctic hair. So we have strap gloves, but we don't have first strap gloves. Oh yeah. Uh, so uh, again, it would go nicely with the outfit. Uh, this one here, uh, we have the patrol pack ice white. Uh, it is a big hulking uh, backpack. Is this uh, the one that has red around the picture? It's a little hard yeah, to so, see here. Yeah, so yeah. there's a skull um, and uh, there's like a red. And does it? Is this one say one shot, one kill on it? Yeah, I remember. I so. Okay. Um, nice. And then we have deep freeze for the berry. Uh, we have the tactical hood oh, white out. The tactical uh, hood and white, nice. The, the one thing about the tactical hoods, uh, females don't have hair on this. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've actually and the guys that. already don't have hair, so it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, it looks funny whenever you equip it with a, a female. Um, uh, so we get another five XP booster. Uh, you have the Arctic sniper gloves, uh, moose. Cool. So, uh, it's actually like a. It looks like a mid, but then the trigger finger is actually a, a separate. Um, but because the other does there's those some what combat mittens they had whatever that had the um i thought they had the like the top that flipped but i could be wrong I, i'm not I sure either yeah i'd have to okay. go back uh frost nip face paints uh so it's like oh. someone's starting to get uh frostbite like yeah kind of neat yeah that's cool uh tega bush for the ks23 uh it's kind of interesting that's, that's a, it's kind of tiger so that's the same name as that other shotgun yeah so it's like it has its own camo or skin style, but this is on the cast. That's weird. Yeah, okay, and it, like the, the, the lines, yeah. the lines actually look like branches type thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, a pelt mask, a Timberwolf. So, um, you know, a skin mask. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, so Ooh, here we go. Okay, we got go. isolation two, cold. Uh, cold. Uh, so this is the, the Luger, and I believe it's the M nineteen eleven. I think you're right, uh, nineteen eleven. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. Um, and it's like there's like ice kind of building up on the back of it. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, I like it. Yeah. I'm trying to see. There's like scratches on it. I don't know if they mean anything or whatnot, uh, like mm -hmm. on the edges. But yeah. Uh, so you get another 50 XP, 10% uh, booster. Crowns. Or sorry, 50 crowns, yes. Uh, and 10 XP booster. Uh, lumber uh, pack subtropic set uh so again same thing uh as earlier uh different color uh, it's a nice little it's like almost like an olive uh the scrim mm. a snow scrim for the pa uh md 
the nice to see the MD86 get some love. Yeah, nice. Yep. Uh, first drive gloves are reindeer. Those ones are nice. I like those. Um, we have face protector winter masking. Uh, kind of nice. Uh, we have a uh, snow coat, pure white. Uh, I kind of like this jacket. This is nice. This you know, this doesn't really look military at all. So this, this looks this, like a yeah. This almost yeah, looks yeah. civilian, but like yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's like a military grade coat or whatever. But it, it like it an officer's good. coat, maybe yeah. or something. I don't know, but yeah, it looks good. Uh, you got another fifteen uh, percent uh, XP booster. Oh, and uh, I kind of forgot to mention, uh, you do get booster tickets uh, again uh, every so often um i don't on the free tier yeah on the free tier um breacher's mask breacher's uh, mask commando this looks cool it looks like a yeah. Joe type mask right it does it really does yeah not quite like snake eyes but like you know something yeah um so I, lo I love the yeah well for for me in in french it's uh, raquettes uh mm. oh my god i saw this i was like oh my god this is so cool <laughs> If only you could uh, change your um your feet because there's no like you can't change shoes. No, because the shoes are part of your outfit. So yep. if you could, they'll have an outfit with snowshoes and running around out there with snowshoes. Yep. <laughs> so uh, avalanche backpack gray, love it. Uh, breath guard uh, Kevlar composite, uh, kind of interesting. It yeah, almost looks like uh like a Mad Max ish type thing, like the latest yeah. one, but little snow version. Uh, take a bush for the UK VZ fifty nine. Uh, Ooh, then we have I nice. three frigid, uh, I believe the sawed off. The sawed off. I don't, yeah, I want to say they're both the sawed offs. I think so. They look identical. It's the same. Yeah. Yeah. A uh, hundred crowns plus you get a fifty uh, above. Uh, sorry, I've been ignoring the the premium tier. Uh, if there's been crowns, uh, but you do get seven hundred crowns altogether. Um, another fifteen percent XP booster. Um, we have the fleece cap, dark blue. Uh, we have the pelt mask Arctic Fox. Uh, these are like they're kind of nice. Yeah, they um, are. Yeah. Deep freeze for the ZA uh, M76 sniper. Uh, uh, patrol pack Robert. Uh, so this one here has the name Robert uh, on it instead of where the skull was. Yeah. Um, nothing else. It, it's kind of weird because it almost looks like there's like fur or something um, near the top in and like the the stripe just above Robert. Uh, then we have the Arctic Assault Boreal Forest. Uh, so this is the same one as the level one, I believe. Right. 15% uh, booster as well. Uh, we have the Bonnie Hat and Tega. Uh, outdoor Rucksack a Midnight Hike. Actually, kind of mm, okay. like that variant. Yeah. Uh, we have the Frostguard Goggles Makeshift Ground. Oh, okay. Those are cool. Oh, the snow scrim. Oh, for the there you go. Oh, see, I have the... I have the regular scrim for the L85. Uh, I might have to change depending on the map. Um, yeah. Uh, isolation. M4A1. Uh, yep. And, and uh, the Taiga. Oh, is that the Taiga? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so then you have 100 crowns plus 50 in the free tier and then 20% uh, percent XP boost. Uh, deep frostbite. Oh, uh, ouch. Face paint. So a little yeah. bit uh, deeper uh, and then a little uh, more on the face uh winter mask snow camo really like that one now uh we have the marksman gloves uh fleck tarn white uh then we have the smoke grenade plan at level 44 Ooh, so, pretty uh, hot yeah like it uh, all, up there yeah yeah all of them really have been uh, yeah. higher up especially like the special issue ones and um, i saw that that there was a, a challenge to make 75 of them or something like so yeah. you get a challenge to craft 75 smoke grenades and you don't get the pants until 44 it's like okay so <laughs> i did notice that even in non-boosted lobbies um you get the parts out of cash bots and I have found some in Time Vault and like all the loot events. Uh, it's random. It's not guaranteed, but I have found parts. Uh, are you going to find like enough for 77? Probably, Probably not. not. <laughs> but, you know, if you get to the point where you've finished it, I guess it all also it all depends on what level your, your, your shelter is at, right? Because like, yeah, if even if we waited till close to the end of the, of the season to finish our thing, if you have a fully built shelter, you yeah. can instant craft and 
it'll take you a little while but yeah you can do 75 fairly quickly yeah and you probably have a ton of like materials and whatnot yeah now really if sure. it was the rifle or the new assault rifle and you had to build a whole bunch of those forget it yeah uh then we have the frost marsh gear uh peat bog uh, okay is that the same as the other coat yeah it's it. just um yeah oh, it is like the white one that we saw that I thought was yeah. civilian that okay is. yeah okay uh, 30% XP booster. Uh, you have the Deep Freeze Tega. Uh, and then it's, it's kind of funny. You get the rare crafting planet for the M14 at level 47. Yeah. Um, so uh, anyways, uh, yeah, 47, you're getting it. Uh, then you have Avalanche Backpack Snow Camel. Uh, I kind of like this one better than the other one. Um, maybe just because it yeah. goes with the whole set. Yeah. Um, then you have the breath guard bare metal uh kind of neat nice yeah wouldn't want to wear that Ooh. in the winter time though yeah, uh, yeah. and then we have the isolation uh, uh five arctic at level 50 uh which features the l96 and uh, i think it's the fg42 that was the side loaded um sniper, oh, right? maybe yeah yeah uh, yeah the fg42 well i don't know that's that, a uh, machine gun yeah but it, gun, it was yeah. it was like a sniper because it had the scope. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess. Uh, maybe. Yeah. True. Um, it did have a scope. There are, there it, are machine guns that have scopes. Yeah. It's the only one with the, the side load. No, that's so, true. Yeah, you're right. So you're that, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't so, see the side clip until just now when yeah. it had the right angle. So yeah. that's what it is, uh, I think. And then you have like, and then uh, I forget what the mask is called there, but it's. it's yeah, but it, from this season, wasn't it? Like this last season? Isn't that nope. what it's from? Oh, maybe. Is no, because we have variants before, I think. Have we not? Oh, well, yeah, I guess we have. I guess it's. But there was a variant from this season too. But yeah, maybe yeah. there was variants before. And then I'm not 100 percent sure on that actually. Yeah, I don't know what's like on each little like school like. It looks like a big whatever. snowflake though. Yeah. Yeah, it is a big snowflake, but I don't know what's yeah. on the top. I don't know if it means anything or nothing at all. Yeah. Uh, then you get 250 crowns and three special issue crates, and the free tier you get Arctic Salt Polar Desert. So, nice. Uh, really nice if you do uh, if you are able to grind the free tier. Yeah. Now these I don't mind. Like um, these these desert oh not um, these snow camo military ones aren't too bad. I, I don't mind yeah. these at all. Uh yeah, I'm not a huge fan of military grade stuff. No, uh, military neither stuff, am I. But, uh, I yeah. kind of like some of this, uh, yeah. especially like the like I was saying the jacket type thing. Uh, one. Uh, yeah, that one's really good. I think I like the pure white one more than that other one. Um, that had the whatever. It's hard to tell the distance what it yeah. was all over it for camo white or something, but. For sure. No, that's um, it, oh, it's a that's a good battle pass, and there's some good stuff in there. Okay. I, really, I do like it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, also with the battle pass, there is a new change. Uh, Doc does have a new clip. So uh, guess yes. what? Uh, in past seasons, you were able to buy uh levels for a battle pass for crowns, um, but you would have to do it one at a time. Now you could actually buy multiple levels all at once and i was like oh my god this is like if you're going to do this i'm like i appreciate this because i literally went level by level to track the xp for each level and the crowns that it costs to blah 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 but if if you're literally going to just buy like all of it like that boom there you go uh and yeah. at the end of the clip like it shows you like the total amount is like four thousand something crowns uh, it's like, hey, if, if you're rich, go Be, nuts. Because like it is taking into effect, like if you when you when you look at when you're buying levels, right? At the very beginning, yeah, it's really cheap per levels, like five crowns, whatever. But then it gets it starts ramping up every ten levels or so. And then by the end oh, it's like two hundred crowns a level, I, right? And I it's believe like, it's every five. Give me like a couple is of seconds. Every, I, yeah, it I be. have it in the spreadsheet. No, no, I literally have it in the spreadsheet. So yeah, every five levels, so it goes five, fifteen, thirty, forty five. 70, 90, 110, 140, 170, 200 crowns, and the last one's 250. Yeah. And so, and it's, you can see when he's ramping up all these levels, it, you can see like that it keeps jumping as he gets farther and farther, right? Yeah. So it's still costing the exact same. Yeah. It's just more convenient. There's yeah. no discount or anything. Like it's 4,625 crowns for the total thing, what I have. Yeah written down uh for the xp uh for four million nine hundred and three thousand four hundred 
XP. Wow, that just sounds like so much. <laughs> oh yeah, and that's the whole point of the XP boosters. When you have the battle pass, you get the boosters, which you know help you cut that down faster. Yep. But and and honestly, my tip: don't redeem your seasonal uh, challenges. Uh, wait for a double XP uh, event. Yeah. Uh, same thing with your crates, and if you can, don't even do it for the first event because usually we get at least two double XP events. Yep. Um, if you end up missing those events. If you you should have received a double XP ticket at some point, uh, like here level uh, forty seven, uh, in of this battle pass you're going to get uh, a ticket, and I believe in the current season seventeen, same thing. Yeah. Um, so it's like use that. You have twenty four hours. Um, open all your crates, redeem any challenges. Um, so. And they've already announced that there's going to be um, a double XP coming in the new I, uh, season um, in February. Uh, or is it, I, yeah, I thought it was a booster apocalypse. For sure. Well, there's the booster apocalypse, but they did um, okay. mention that there was going to be a double XP as well. I thought it was in the newsletter, but maybe I'm wrong because um, they just sent out a newsletter uh, recently. Okay. Um, I may have missed that so. portion of it, but uh, I, I and I and like I said, I could be wrong yeah. too. Um, I'm, so, just gonna, I'm just looking through it here myself and they talk about you know chronicles isolation coming out they talk about the dev stream which is coming um right after the the launch of the new season oh actually no the dev diary streams on tuesday the 6th so that's just before the, yeah. the start of the new season um yeah there's the shootout uh, booster apocalypse um uh they mentioned world pizza day if you haven't got this email yeah. um there's going to be on the 9th um, and then and until Monday the 12th, there's going to be like a special shield cosmetic that has uh, pizza slices um, <laughs> painted on. It's like one of those um, Viking shields. Yeah. Um, and they do mention, um, yeah, there's going to be some new Valentine's Day cosmetics. So look yeah. for those. And double XP days are um, actually it's. Yeah, the 23rd to the 26th. Okay. So that's that's when a double XP day is coming. So. Um. Yeah. Uh. Next uh, on the list, and this I have not seen anyone talk about this yet, and I think this is the biggest news. Mm -hmm. Uh. So if you go on the legacy tab, and okay, first of all, this is a preview program. Does not mean that this is necessarily going to be live when the season goes live. But it's true. Going Any of this to, can change. But going to the legacy season tab you now have a red warning saying you only have three months left to complete the legacy seasons this is the warning that the devs have mentioned from the get-go that means the new shelter upgrade is coming next season which the, the season roadmap 19. is the roadmap episode that they did release kind of hinted that they were looking more towards the end of this year. I'm super excited about this. This is incredible. Veteran Outlanders have been waiting for shelter upgrades for, I don't know how many, since the beginning of time. And <laughs> yeah. this is so amazing. I was floored when I saw that. I was like, oh my God, it's actually happening. I'm thrilled to see this. And I'm thrilled to be able to say it's actually happening. Like throw in that Michael Scott office uh clip of like oh my god it's happening <laughs> yeah because shelter upgrades are coming it is i can't believe it so i'm super thrilled and excited about it yeah no it's, it's that's it that's interesting too so that's uh that's really nice how can you just say interesting how can you just say interesting, <laughs> it's, interesting. it's more than it's interesting. interesting no it's not <laughs> yeah um, um and they also seem that like when I mean, you're looking at here um it's the next reward thing looks different. Uh, well, maybe it's because you don't have anything. Maybe that's why it looks like yeah, that. No, I don't. I didn't buy legacy seasons. I'm not buying any of them or anything. No, I know. I just say the way it's, it's a list as opposed to like, um, uh, like when you when you look at it on on ours, it shows you like a picture of what's coming next kind of thing, right? No, um, it's probably yeah. It's probably because I'm not. I don't have them. Accident. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Quite possible. But anyways, yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's uh, that's uh, big news. Very big news. 
Uh, next on the list, we have uh, Lock Container. Uh, so, uh, yeah, some so we have a couple videos for this, but yeah, yeah. Well, and I think I know they had made some changes, not like the changes, maybe it wasn't changes, but it wasn't always guaranteed. Um, I think, uh, when you were using like this first clip, when you're using a grenade to try to open the uh, the uh, the container, I know that man, that might have just been a bug. There might, I think there have been times where it doesn't always work. So, um, but yeah, we can we can bring up. Yeah. I, in I theory, think, we can bring it up there. Okay. I think it's like it, it was placement and range and whatnot. But anyways, uh, damage does not. I'm well, I'm you say damage, but like explosive damage, like yeah. can you still? Shoot it? You can still shoot it. Yeah. Uh, so you're shooting, you still works. Uh, <laughs> Uh, contact bombs do not work. Uh, improvised mines do not work. Did uh, contact bombs and mines work before? Yep. Uh, oh, okay. I don't think mines, I've ever tried using them. Uh, border strikes do not work. Um, the, uh, oh my god, flash grenades have not worked. Yeah, that was very like, uh, like, four seasons ago, I want to say, maybe even longer. Um, but, yeah, so now nothing will open it unless you shoot the water. Yeah. Oh, that's good though. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that's that's the next thing. Um. <clears throat> uh. We also have uh some new, new seasonal challenges. Yeah. Yeah. New seasonal challenges that I kind of notice. Um. There's unlocked forty exits, which I've never had before, so I don't know if it's new this season. Um. It's called open door policy, uh, but I did see that. I don't recall ever um, seeing that one either. Yeah. So uh, maybe with the addition of Anakin having locked exits, uh, it's another reason why uh, it's there. I'm kind of curious now if uh, Grothheim, if you cut the ladder, if that would count towards that. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I don't know. It, it sounds um, that seems weird because you're not actually unlocking anything. So, yeah. um, we have a. Uh, a uh, challenge called Barbecue Party, which is craft 10 smoke grenades. Uh, kind of funny. Uh, mm -hmm. Mist Walker uh, smoke nine airdrops uh, in encounters. Uh, and I think That's there's a new cool. one. Or a tweak. I, I don't know. Doc and I were discussing it. But uh, Eliminations uh, hit two Outlanders with a frag grenade. I, I swear at one point it was three. And if it was, it, that, they changed that quickly because it's been a while. Because yeah. I, I don't remember it ever being three. And um, I looked back when we did our seasonal challenge episode and it was two back then. Um, I wanted, yeah. So it's hard to say. Yeah. Maybe so, it was a preview thing that it was three. I don't know. But yeah. yeah. So uh, those are some of them. Uh, I didn't go reroll like a ton of seasonal challenges. So uh, I didn't notice anything with the new uh, weapon. And so, they typically do, though. So like, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, because there's, it seems like almost every season there's like get so like ninety nine kills with the new yeah, weapon, right, or but, something like that. But, but there's no <laughs> challenges for rare weapons. So, uh, oh, that's true. That is true. So, um, I I don't think that's one reason, unless they have mm. added. But from what I saw, again. Um, I only saw like military and um, yeah special issue weapons because even the crafting of weapons um, I know they've had like purple weapon crafting but I don't think there's ever been a lower than purple level sorry there is a rare uh, kill challenge one but it's crossbow okay true that one okay been right, <laughs> wrong for a while and there was ni knife ones before. Oh, they got rid of them, though. They used to be knife ones. Uh, and they got yeah, rid of they, them. Yeah, but I think they still came back. And But uh, they're, they are back. But now right. they could actually be, yeah, they could actually be viable now. So um, that'd be good yeah. if they do bring them back, because it be, that'd be a fun one to try to get. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, so th that's kind of like... Uh, that's the new season. The new season. Uh, like I said, I'm very excited. Yeah, and it's like the the funny thing is like the stuff that excited me the most is the stuff that's not even in the like what's new type thing. Uh, yeah. Aside from the melee, the the melee rework is like exciting. Um, yeah, 
So uh, no, it is. I don't that know. is exciting. Let, let us know in the comments below what you think of all of the, what's new, uh, what's in the what's new section, or what we told you about that wasn't actually listed. Uh, I'm kind of curious what people are interested in. What are you looking forward to? Absolutely, yeah. Send, leave us a message below. Um, what excites you about this new season? Um, we, we definitely want to hear it. Um, it'd be, yeah, um, there's some big changes like, they, and a lot of things that, you know, we've been waiting for, for, you know, quite some time, the melee thing, like melee has been like broken since the beginning of time. So this is really exciting that, you know, a rework yeah. of that system. It's, it's a, that, that is a huge game changer. Yeah. Like that, uh, that alone. Smoke grenades have been asked for since like the game yeah. started pretty much, uh, like, yeah. Yeah, it's very exciting. Uh, so we're we're fun. seeing we're seeing the groundwork for the weapon rework come up now. So it's like, fingers crossed, it's done well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and Angelina, she's excited here too. She's really looking forward to it. So she can't wait to sit on me while I play. So that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be fun. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, anyways, that, that's that's where we'll stop. Uh, thanks again for listening and for watching our. Uh, our intro to the new season that's coming uh chronicles isolation so that's gonna be fun um yeah it's just a couple days away right after this uh this drops like when you when you're getting this so look forward to it feel the hype hopefully that brings yeah. hopefully these new changes bring a lot of people back because uh, it's it's always you know it's quite often it's a, it's a ghost town out there sometimes like you're waiting for uh lobbies for some of the, certain maps like some of the uh, bigger maps that aren't always as popular um, sometimes you can wait minutes, minutes, minutes trying to uh, trying to get into a match. So hopefully this brings more people back and makes things uh, lively again. So we're looking yep. forward to it. Yep. But uh, yeah, until next time, I'm Dr. Anton. And I'm DJ Spencer and Nerf the Puko. Nerf the Puko. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave comments below. Hit that notification bell. But until next time, stay safe in the Outlands. And have a great night. Bye. Bye.
land.